Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to run PS Exec from batch files and also how I run that inside of a web server. Um, so, in order to use PS Exec, obviously you need to download it from PS Tools. And this allows us to connect to a remote, remote machine and distribute some content and also execute that content. So basically we're going to connect to a remote machine and deliver a batch file which is going to execute something. So here I have a local folder and I have my psexec program. I also have a psexec.bat file here and that psexec.bat file here is the code we're going to execute. It's going to um, uh, go to the remote share on jlongoW10. The username is going to be administrator and here are some switches we're passing it, the PS exec switches. And here is the file that we're going to distribute. And that file lives locally here. So gags underscore copy. So I'm just going to distribute a couple of funny gag programs uh, to this remote machine over here, which is jlongo w10. And uh, the starting machine here is jlongo 102. Gags underscore copy dot bat is going to go to the remote machine. It's going to create a gags folder. If it does not exist, it's going to create this file. And it does exist because I've run this already. And it's going to copy everything from this gags folder on a remote uh, uh, virtual drive onto that ga uh, gags folder. And then it's going to execute one of the programs. Uh, so here is the math drive. It's going to go into that gags folder. It's going to copy these two files over to this machine. And then it's going to execute that file. And it's going to show up here in the task manager. So once we execute, we're prompted for the password of the remote machine. And here we are. We can see that we've transferred the files over to the remote machine and we are now running the remote process as well. Let's go ahead and kill that. And let's go ahead and delete these. So that's how we do it from a raw file, just using PS exec. If I want to do that inside of my web server, what I have is a scripts folder and in my scripts folder I have that same file. Here is the gags underscore copy dot bat. Here is that gags. I also have PS exec here. Here's PS exec. Here's PS exec. So I just built a front end for my PS exec uh, because I would prefer to use it inside of a utility inside of a console rather than having to use raw scripting files. So I could reuse these and I could also pass variables to the back end scripts. Uh, so here is what it looks like here. I'm going to um, use PS exec. This is my PS exec entry uh, web form. So I can tell it which computer. I can do multiple computers, but here I'm just going to do one of these computers. I'm going to give it a uh, username and I'm going to give it the password. And so this is going to do the exact same thing. Only thing we're doing this from a web page rather than from a raw script file. And so we've just executed Batch deployment is complete. Whackpack.exe is running. And here it's in a different folder. So I put it in the gags folder um, instead of the temp PS exec folder, which is where it was located when I was running PS exec from a file. But here I'm running PS exec from inside of my web server. Um, so, and you um, can go on to my other videos and you can watch more videos about this uh, and learn more about this Doji web server that I use. This is my front end for all of my scripts and also PS exec. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please look for more videos in the future.